is a reverse percent yield problem where we're given the percent yield. And after we know the percent yield, we're going to figure out the grams of product theoretical And then we're going to use that to calculate the grams of the reactant. In other words, for this reaction, if I actually want to get out 8.5 grams of NH3 and it only has a 30% yield, I'm going to have to aim for a lot higher than 8.5 grams. 8.5 grams is my actual. So my percent yield equals the actual over the theoretical times 100. I'm going to write theory here instead. So 30 divided by 100 is 0 0.3. 8.5 divided by 0 0.3 tells me that my theoretical amount of NH3 is going to be 28.3 grams. We have to try to make 28.3 grams to actually get out 8.5. So I'm going to then use this grams of NH3 to calculate the grams of N2. So 28.3 grams of NH3 divided by the molecular weight of NH3, which is 17, gives me 1.67 moles of NH3 as our goal. Now I need to do a mole ratio. One, over given. So we're going to start with 2.5 moles of N2. Um, to get the grams of that, 2.5 times the molecular weight of N2. We're going to have to start with 70 grams of N2 in order to aim for 28.3 grams of NH3 in order to really get 8.5 grams. Here's a reverse percent yield problem for you to try. 